Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we'll start to talk about a new uh, tutorial series uh, and we'll, uh, we'll work with uh, next limit packages. So we'll, uh, we'll start to have tutorials about uh, Max Solo Render and the real flow. Uh, in this tip tutorial we'll see how to uh, have Max Solo Render inside our 3ds Max uh, pipeline. So uh, you can go uh, over the um, Next Limit website and you see it's www.nextlimit.com. You have the web page there. You see with all the information about the software Next Limit is developing and we are talking about uh, Xflow, Realflow and Max Solo Render. Xflow is a, a professional uh, CFD package and it's just for um, professional use for fluid dynamics and talking about the computer graphics uh, topics we can have Realflow and Max Solo Render. You can um, download demo version for Realflow and Max Solo Render and this time we'll see something about Max Solo Render so we can go there products and you see that we have Max Solo Render and Realflow and Xflow. Let's click over official website for Max Solo Render and you see we have a new web page and that's the uh, website for uh, Max Solo Render. The latest version is Max Solo Render 2.6 this one and you see we can go there inside the products and we have Max Solo Render Suite, Max Solo for uh, Google Search App and Max Solo Core we can go there for Max Render Suite and we have some information about Max Render. Max Render is a, a, a rendering package uh, that can be used with various uh, uh, 3D software. It's an embedded uh, rendering engine as iRay and it's really useful to have a really realistic rendering and there are a lot of new features for uh, Max Render in the latest version and we'll see how to use it uh, with uh, a 3ds Max to have another rendering engine useful for still images and animation. We have uh, some information there talking about, for example, an overview about the feature, and we have the the feature list, and you see something about the engine, the material, the multi-light technology, the air system, the particles, the physical sky, motion blur. Simulants technology, the camera te uh, techniques and algorithms, and we have the pipeline integration, and we have other information about some more feature. Then we can go there. You see inside plugins, and we see all the software supported by Max Render, and you see 3ds Max there as the first one we have inside the list, and we have all the information about the compatibility and we have the possibility to use uh, the, the scene coming from 3ds Max exported inside Max Render Suite but we can also render directly from 3ds Max in uh, using a Max Render or we have also the possibility to use, you see, the technology Max Fire that can be used as a, an active shade renderer so uh, it's a really interesting uh, uh, way to to use 3ds Max and Max Solo Render together. So uh, then we can go there inside the download, and you see there we have the Try Max Solo Render Suite. We have there some information about the demo. The demo is just for 30 day uh, time limit, and you see we have the watermarked render. We have the Max Solo Render side, maximum render sites uh, set to 800 to 600. We have the maximum size for the Max Solo Fire render to 720 to 720, and we have no network rendering enabled, and we have the preview rendering inside the viewport of Max Solo Studio disabled, and we have a maximum amount of five editable lights using the multi-light technology. The multi-light technology is really useful because you can use uh, all the lights you need inside your scene and then you can change uh, the light without the need uh, to re-render the entire scene so you can do everything in real time and using the demo you have just five lights supported 
So, uh, to download the demo, you have just to uh, write all the information there inside the demo form. You have to set the email address, the sector you work for, and then I owe you uh, here about max render and then you have just to write the right information there and you can download the right version for max render as you uh, will install the max render you'll have new uh, software there and you see that we have max render max studio pymax uh, editor that's the python editor and the material editor uh, the most important part is uh, the Maxor Render software and the Maxor Studio. So let's see if I double click over Maxor Render, I have the software on the other monitor. Now I'm moving it, and you see that we have there, and that's the Maxor Render, and you see that's the interface. We'll see in future tutorial how to play. Uh, with uh, uh, the software and how to to create rendering and all the other steps. Let's close it and we have the Maxor Studio. It is loading. Okay. And now I can move it. I'm scaling it the user interface to have it directly inside our uh, resolution there. You see that the uh, um, the user interface is really big, so we have all the stuff there inside uh, the viewport. But you see that we have a real-time viewport there, and we can have also the interactive viewport there to see all the changes in real time. So it's really, uh, really uh, powerful, and it's really, really uh, full of feature. So let's close it. Okay, we don't know, want to save, and now I load the 3ds Max, and we'll see that inside 3ds Max we have the all the tools we need to use Max to render. So in this tip tutorial, we'll see just to make uh, a really simple uh, render using a uh, Max to render and 3ds Max, and in future tutorial we'll see all the feature we have inside Max to render step by step. So uh, the, the, the important uh, issue is that you can uh, work directly importing the data inside uh, Maxwell Studio and set all the information there, or you can use just Maxwell Render to render the scene. Uh, okay, let's move it there. Okay, so uh, just a fast uh, thing to see where we have now uh, RealFlow, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Max Render. So if I go there inside the uh, rendering menu, and I move it there, if you go there for the assign render, you see that we have Max Render there, and you see that inside the uh, um, Active Shade Render, we have Max Render 2. So we have different ways to use it. Uh, let's see uh, what we can do just in a fast way and we can also imagine that if I set there max render you see that now I have all the parameters for to use max render so it's totally integrated inside 3ds max. If I open the uh, material editor you see that there, and the same is in the standard uh, material, you see that we have there the material coming from uh, next limit with all the properties we need to create shaders and all the other information. So you see that's how our tools, the tools we can have. Um, so let's close it and let's start to see some stuff and we have also there you see the export to MXS create a maxor reference MXS send job to network create a maxor proxy create uh, an RF, RF key and a beam mesh loader so we have the tools also on the toolboards 
and we have also some information there we have Maxwell and you see we have the uh, uh, some mesh and some information there and we have obviously also the light there and that's all we have for example uh, the possibility to use Maxwell with the standard cameras and all the other stuffs we have in 3ds Max okay so uh, let's do a really really simple uh, test let's imagine that we have a plane I create nothing so special it's just to understand that everything works in a perfect way and let's imagine that we have a simple mesh as this one we can exit from there and let's imagine that we set max render as active shade let's close there and let's say that this one is an extended viewport and it's an active shade you cannot see it but I'm setting as active shade I get I got an error but it's not a problem let's reset okay just uh, wait just a moment I have to restart so I still have some problems to activate max render there so uh, later I have to solve it but before we can see uh, just to introduce the rendering engine that I can go there uh, I can create the simple scene we were creating before okay and let's set the right position let's use this one for example and now if I go for example there and I say to use um, maxi render and we set nothing so we set just the resolution and I click on render as you see it is opening max render it is rendering the scene and obviously you see it is set to render with some information and we have the possibility to stop it so let's stop it okay and now it is ready uh, we at render we can for example work directly there to make some changes but let's imagine that uh, we uh, we are ready with the rendering so let's imagine to do to go there and let's say that the time limit is in a minute uh, maybe uh, just 0 0.1.5 is the minimum minimum and let's render again you see it is rendering for uh, 30 seconds and let's see what happened it works in a really similar way as IRA Okay, and that's done. You see that we have the rendering there, and we uh, we have it there. I can scale it a little bit, and you see it's really really simple. But we have all the information set in the right way. Uh, let's go. Sorry. Okay, let's go there, and you see that we have uh, some general information about it. And you see, for example, that we have the low priority and we have some information about this, uh, the scale of the scene how many treats we have to use obviously if we set to zero we are using all the treats and the core we have inside our workstation and uh, uh, we have a lot of information there you see that there we have the render channel we have the, uh, the possibility to have the sky preview there and we'll see it as to use it we have the tone mapping the environment settings 
and you see that we have the physical sky actually with all the information there uh, with the sun and we can set also uh, the a different uh, uh, date for example I set now to the uh, current date and the current time and if I render again I have to render with the right sun position and the sun position you see is a little bit different with and we can see it from the shadows let's stop it okay let's go back in 3ds max and then you see we have other information about the render layers the uh, perspective and light viewport the simulants technology and all the other stuffs we have and that's a really uh, simple way you see to use the max render there inside uh, the viewport and uh, we can set all the stuffs we need using the uh, usual uh, technology or you see we can use for example the light coming from max render so for example I can use this one let's say to set there and this one can be for example an area light let's say the that the scale is this one we have a lot of preset we can say for example to use um, an incandescent lamp of 100 but and you see we have all the uh, precise uh, information there and then we can go there and for example we can remove the uh, environment settings so we have just the light and obviously we have now to set all the other tools to have the right rendering so you see actually we see nothing so uh, that's just to understand that we have to set uh, all the parameters to have the right uh, rendering but when we try to have it it will be really really good and uh, we'll make some tutorial for example picking old scene we prepared with uh, iRay and other rendering engine and we'll see how to use it with Maxor render so uh, let's set to off again this one and go back inside environment there, physical sky, is sun and let's say that we stay at maybe 70 and let's see the render with a different time hour and you see that's the rendering so let's change the sun position to 16 you see that we have the shadows there and we have for sure some objects that is in front of so back to the default value there and you see that we can use also the light system so uh, for the moment that's all and we'll use more uh, this plugin to see how to render and how to set up the scenes uh, to have beautiful photorealistic render and we will have another choose uh, with uh, a master render so we'll see how it is similar and how it is different from iRay so for the last time that's our basic render uh, okay for the moment that's all and we'll see again on the next tutorial and I hope to see you back on MaxCookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com uh, so uh, that's all and just maybe before we close you see that there for example we can change in real time the ISO and the shutter so we have the possibility to control some camera values directly in real time then in uh, um, max render editor so uh, thanks for all and we'll see you really soon